hungry. Yeah. We're in Operation Cheer-Up mode. Where are we going? Crest. Crest! We're gonna get some plants. Say yay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> February and the sun is literally to my face beaming it's so nice out it's like 50 degrees which means it's so hot in my greenhouse and I'm really excited to get some stuff done I'm so sick also Daniel's out here okay so the greenhouse is looking really great um let's see what so hot it is actually it holy crap I might be able to start seeds out here. Like there's stuff out here that needs to be watered. Oh my gosh. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's at least 80 degrees in here. I just opened the door, so I'm sure he got out. The time is still alive. Like I might start some seeds out here today. This is nice. Oh, I'm so excited. So Daniel was nice enough to take me to Crest because I've been feeling really sick. And so that's how he cheers me up. <laughs> he buys me plants. Um, we didn't really get much today, just some seed packets. So let me get the seed packets and show you those, the plants that I just got in and I'll show you that and water the greenhouse. That's about it for today. Okay, so here's what I got in. Um, these are Photonias, Photonias, I think that's how you say it. Um, I know they look kind of crazy, but let's keep in mind that they're dormant. So I hope that they're going to bounce back. Apollo seems to love them. I think that they'll be fine. Like this looks nice and healthy. Like nothing really looks wrong with the with the new growth. It's got buds. You could tell it's new growth if it's red. So a couple of pieces came broken off. I got it in the mail. It was shipped yesterday, I think. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then today at Crest, I picked up this really pretty coral bell. Let's see if I can get a good look at this tag for you. Midnight Rose and um it is i believe zone up to zone five yep it's zone five through nine so i'm zone seven and i think it's gonna look really pretty out there you see it's kind of dying back a little bit but i'm sure it'll be beautiful uh the arbs are doing great this is one the other one in the yard come on paula you being good or bad? All right. Oh, before I pass it, this is, I ended up wrapping the nectarine tree in burlap to keep it warm because there was a day we were down to six degrees, which I know to some people isn't bad, but that's a terracotta pot because I have no sense in my body and I put it in a terracotta pot. So it's got bubble wrap and burlap. Okay, so here's my dilemma. Don't judge me. I know it looks crazy right now because all the grass is ripped up and everything's a blank slate, but I just want to show my idea. Um, I know the sun is really bad, but here is the maple um, in the corner. And then the surface berry will go here. That's kind of simulating the blueberry bush the hydrangea. I'm going to plant the dogwood in the ground here. So this might have to come over some, but this is the second blueberry. And then I still have all of this space down here. Go back up. Whew. All the space. So I might actually want to put in another garden bed, but I don't know how much light I'll get over there because then it would mirror the garden bed that's going to go here because we've got the hammock in the corner. 
one of the arms. Then this, from this pole down, is one garden bed. The compost is going to move. So I could mirror the two garden beds. Um, and then back there, like I said, that's the maple. And then the two fo photo photinia, photinia, something like that. One, two, to make a little baby hedge. Um, I got a hosta going in that corner. And then I have a raised garden bed right there that will kind of block up that space. I don't know. It's all a process. So, like I said, I just got these plants in the mail. So I'm going to do a small amount of maintenance on them before I put them in the greenhouse because those are clearly weeds. And like I said, it did have some like, broken branches and whatnot. So I'm going to clean that up and then water it in. Okay, these are looking way, 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 way better than they were. Got this all cleaned out from the um, dried up leaves and some of them had, uh, this one had a lot of weeds, but we got it trimmed up. Tried really hard to find some okay-ish leaves to leave for some photosynthesis. Um, but you know, I had to trim off the stuff that was really poor because you don't know if that is some type of disease harboring over or you know if it had insects on it so um i'm gonna head i'm gonna go ahead and spray this with um an insecticide before i put it in my greenhouse with everything else just to be sure the soil actually is still really moist i unboxed this like two three days ago um some of the twigs were or the stems were broken so i cut those off some of them were dead so i cut those off you know some basic maintenance um, but you know this just shows get your plants from somewhere where you trust some people somewhere where you know they are grown well there's no disease there's no insects um, and you won't have to take 25 minutes to do what I just did so now I'm gonna start in on this ivy which literally if you can tell lines the entire way down so i've been trying to like deal with it for a couple of years now like keep it under control as you can see like now there's like morning glory growing on it and it's just like taking over the mosquitoes love it i just can't do it anymore so the plan is drop it all down get it all out kill it out i tried so hard to just put up with it and I just can't do it anymore. I tried trimming it. I tried just enjoying its beauty and the fact that the mosquitoes love it so much. It's like you can't be out here for more than three seconds without getting bit and it grows so fast. Like you have to trim it like every couple of days and I just can't do it anymore. So my plan is to just bring it all down and enjoy the beauty of an old wooden fence. <music> Okay, and this is the exact reason it has to go. It literally fits through the little slots of the fence and then it does this. It like rips it apart. It's literally like a monster. It's like the Hulk of plants. It like slithers through and then tears it apart. It's gotta go. Somewhere along the line my battery died. I lost sunlight as you can see because I'm sitting in front of a fire now. Um, so I got less than half of the fence done and then the sun went down, but progress. 
there's really not much going on in February. So I hope this wasn't completely boring and this is something that I can look back on and remember how the garden was looking in February of 2019. Kind of looking like a lot of nothing. But the greenhouse looks great and it's perfect weather for a fire. It doesn't look like a lot, but it took literally hours to just get this part of the fence cleared out from all that ivy. And I still got all of that to go. All of that. I got two big old piles. They're in there. Gotta clean up my fire mess from last night. And I ended up putting the Photon... No. Photinia? I googled it now, I forgot. Photinia. Um, I put both of them in there. Look how much better they look after I clean them all up. Isn't that red so pretty? Yeah. So, that's all for February. Not much to update because it's kind of dead. We're going to get some snow here soon. So it's not even worth trying to fix that mess. Not even worth it. I'm going to just wait it out till there's no more snow and I can see a possibility of beauty. Good Daisy. Gonna be good girls? Daisy. Daisy. Don't leave them alone. She bothers him, but they love each other. Okay. I guess until March. Bye.